I think we knew preparing for this game the, the way we set out was we wanted the ball, we wanted to dominate the ball today because I felt like that was the best way to um, to beat this team, a powerful, strong, physical team and ultimately we needed to deny possession of the ball and work our moment and try and get our opportunity and you know our opportunity come probably with, with Mitro's chance and um, obviously on, on this day it's not it's not gone in for us or, or you know obviously Mitro's missed the target and and they go and punish us and, and score the one goal that wins them the game really so but you know I, I think ultimately you're dealing in margins in this league and um, I think probably two three months ago we wasn't talking about the fine margins of the Premier League and the fine margins of a football match we was probably talking about bigger issues and uh, bigger things really and I suppose ultimately that's very pleasing because we're, we're talking about the fine, fine details of a, of a football match rather than the, the bigger issues, what we probably had before that. Just how pleased are you with the strides you've made as a manager and the strides your team's made under you? Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm really pleased with the team. I said that to them after, addressed them after. and you know, like, As a football club and as a team, there was a lot of question marks being asked of them individually, as a, all of us really, as coaches, as staff. And um, rightly so, because the season's not gone well at times. But I think certainly over the last three, four weeks, we've um, we've showed another side to us, which ultimately one can keep you in this division, and two, as a, as players, it needs to be your, your bread and butter, really. And that's a desire and a work ethic and a commitment, which every one of these have shown over the last eight weeks for me. And um, there's not one player I can't single out who's not, and that's that's been first class, really. I don't think they can do any more for you and you hear what the players are saying publicly. They want you to have a longer stay. Yeah, I mean, I, listen, I've loved every minute of, of the of the role I, I've been given. Obviously, it was a tough one in the sense of the situation we come into. I think everyone at the club knew um, the situation. It was a tough one. In the, you know, the, the, Everyone seemed a little bit distant and, and trying to bring that back and everyone a bit together was the most important thing. And I think from that now, we've shown that we do have quality. We've shown that we can compete in this division, and um, yeah, I suppose ultimately that's the most pleasing thing. Did it help that you had the Fulham DNA? You knew what it was like to wear the shirt. You know what the fans want, what they expect. Yeah, I think so. I think that's obviously helped. I was a player here for four years, and I suppose I have some some idea on that. Um, but I also have values and standards of my own, which I think represent. A lot of the fans who support football clubs around the country and trying to relay that to the team, trying to relay that to players and for them to understand um, there's a way to lose football matches. Today we lost, but it was a way in which I think everyone, every one of our fans travelling frustration of times, of course, no doubt, I'm sure there was, but I think they can all go away saying, you know what, they, they, they give their everything. You've made it seamless, the transformation. Just how difficult is it stepping up from coaching to managing the side, um, it's not been. It, 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 honestly, it's not been that difficult, and the, and the reason that's been is because the lads have been superb. They've been so receptive of all the work we've been doing with them. We've given them a lot, a lot of information over the last eight weeks. We've done a lot of individual work, a lot of unit work, and to a man, they've been focused. They've been receptive of all the information, and as a coach, that makes it a lot easier for you. And. Um, I think we're seeing the rewards of that work, that hard work from them and obviously the work we've been giving them in our performances certainly over the last four or five weeks. You've clearly seen something in Harvey Elliott, he's a precocious talent, you gave him an opportunity today, admittedly not for long, but you can see something in him can't you that uh, he could be really special? Yeah, he's, um, Harvey's a special, special talent and he um, he's in the team and he's playing in the team because he deserves to be in the team and he deserves to be playing. and. Um, it's not sentimental, there is no the youngest player, Harvey Elliott's been with us for four weeks and every day he's trained with us he's shown what quality he's got and he's been outstanding and, and that's why he's coming on the field. He came on the field today because I felt like he could unlock something and maybe try and get us back in the game and, and create something. And, um, but you're right in what you say, he's, um, he's a special talent and we need to look after our special talents and we need to nurture them because um, yeah, that's what we're about. How ex sort of exciting is that academy pathway for you? Very, very exciting. Obviously, it's something I believe in. Um, Harvey's one of them. They, you know, I think any club when you bring a player which has come through an academy, there's an instant taking to him from fans. Um, but also for me, you know, it's a massive part of what, what I want to do. The fans were superb, weren't they, throughout today? 
they've been brilliant. They've been brilliant all year. Um, they've been brilliant all, all, yeah, all season. The away games of Watford it comes into mind when we get relegated, and today again, um, like I say, in a tough game, um, but they were superb. And in a way, it's nice you get the opportunity to finish at home, and that's a big game, isn't it, against one of your former clubs? Yeah, a massive game for us now. We end the season next week. Um, Next year's massive for us, and there's no hiding the fact you can beat around. And like we have a massive, massive season next year, a massive campaign ahead, and we all know what we want to achieve next year. And ultimately, that's our main focus now. But I think for the remainder of this season and going into next, we need to leave it on a positive note. I feel we're on the right tracks to that, to build for them next year to, to have a big campaign.